The UK has been called an illegal colonial occupier after ignoring a deadline to give up an overseas territory. The United Nations had given Britain six months to relinquish control of the Chagos Islands, which are in the middle of the Indian Ocean, but that deadline has now passed. Mauritius claims it was forced to give the archipelago to Britain back in 1965 in return for its independence. Well, the British government says it has every right to hold on to the islands, one of which, Diego Garcia, is home to a US airbase. Our correspondent Andrew Harding has the story. These are the Chagos Islands, tiny and remote, but now the subject of an increasingly bitter tug of war between Britain and Mauritius. Britain controls the islands and years ago cut a secret deal to allow America to use the biggest island, Diego Garcia, as a military airbase. But earlier this year, the United Nations top court said the UK had no right to keep hold of Chagos, that it was violating international law. And in May, the UN General Assembly voted overwhelmingly to give Britain a six-month deadline to hand the islands over to Mauritius. Today, Britain's response was short and defiant. The Foreign Office said the British Indian Ocean Territory, as the Chagos Islands are officially known, has been under British sovereignty since 1814 and the UK does not recognise Mauritius's claim to the islands. But this morning, the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, flatly contradicted that, saying if he becomes Prime Minister, he will hand the islands back to Mauritius. Yes, absolutely. I've been involved in the Chagos campaign for a very long time. What happened to the Chagos Islanders was utterly disgraceful, forcibly removed from their own islands. Unfortunately, by this country, they need a full apology. They need adequate compensation. They've had some, but I don't believe it's sufficient. And I believe the right of return to those islands is absolutely important. Easy.